I have a question about uh, online video. Uh, should my website include videos? If yes, then uh, should they be scripted or impromptu? And if scripted, how much so full manuscript, point form, or something in between? First of all, absolutely have online video. Video is very powerful. It is, that's where the internet's going. We're, we're seeing, you know, YouTube is just becoming more and more of a juggernaut. It's the number two search engine. Uh, behind Google. So there's more searches in YouTube than there is on Yahoo or Bing. And it also then caters to the them getting to know you, getting to like you, getting to trust you because they're hearing your voice. Again, the reason why I'm sharing this video with you or this audio with you, you're hearing my voice. You're you know like, oh, he's kind of got that Canadian accent a bit. And I kind of keep the A's to a minimum. But you want to get them to get to know you. And, and I've actually had people, you know, I've been talking and people like, hey, I recognize your voice and, uh, you know, from the audios and things that I've done. And in the um, on your website, the same thing, having a video. Sure. The, the minimum would be to have a bio of each staff member. Uh, the next thing would be to have a photo of them. And then, um, you know, the next thing to be would maybe have like a two minute video of them explaining, you know, about themselves. And again, it's just engagement, getting people used to how you look, how you sound. And you want to keep them within with no longer than three minutes. So then if you want and you screw it up, you can do it again. Oh, and sorry, I forgot to talk about the scripts. You know what? Maybe script it out. And it all depends on the person. So for myself, I can't totally go off the cuff. It's just not as I've done this more and more, I can I can do it better. But that's why I have these no these notes here. You know, I took all the answers, the questions that came in, I put some bullet points here. And I can talk to them and then I know like, oh, well, I can then talk like an, I can add to that bullet. Now, in the if you're doing a talking head video and if you want to have a complete, fully manuscripted script, it's going to be hard unless you have a teleprompter there. So if you're doing a like something like this where it's a more of a screen capture, it's a little bit different. Because, you know, if I was to scratch my head or something, I could pause it. I could edit that part out of the audio and or I can do that in the I wouldn't even have to worry about that in the audio or the screen capture here but if it was a talking head video then I may want to take that out or something like that so one of the tricks though uh, to get used to it is to actually do it as if you're answering a question so that you're not looking so it's almost like an interview format where you're kind of looking over the shoulder if someone was holding a camera you're kind of looking over their shoulder as if you were talking to someone else and they've asked you a question and you're providing an answer you know that way it sounds more it's kind of more of a reporting thing but if you were doing this as a welcome message on your website you'd want to be looking right into the camera so all that being said is um, you know what I would start out I would write it out exactly the way you'd want to I would then, you know, if it's only three minutes, say it out loud five to ten times. It's not going to, you know, it's only going to take you half an hour. Uh, and then shoot it. And if uh, if there's any, uh, you know, little glitches, it's, hey, it's three minutes. You can shoot it again. Uh, you know, you can always then, um, if you can't get through a part, just pause and then start again. And if you get, depending on how you're producing this, you can always put a slide up that, you know, I've done that in the past where, you know, I'm talking and then I need to cut the video and take something out and I'll actually lay a graphic over top that covers the two parts there so it just looks like a bit of a transition. So, you know, there's ways of doing that, but whatever it is, do it, just start doing it. And, you know, buy yourself a $100 HD video camera or even a webcam and you can set these webcams up even on a tripod and just start doing it. And if it's 90%, use it until, like, you know, as long as you're not gonna be a total embarrassment. But the thing is, we're not all great orators. And so we want, you want to be humble, you want to be authentic, like Todd Van Beck. If you listen to Todd, uh, you know, Todd's one of the you know, most you know, famous funeral speakers that we've had. Sometimes you, you get Todd on there and he's stammering away and stuttering and saying um and stuff like that. Now, part of that, Todd's a very self-deprecating person. And I think that's why people really like him because he just seems like one of us. So, you know, you don't think you need to be a Clinton or uh, Obama or, or someone who's like these great orators. You just need to be yourself and, you know, get it up there. 
and then and over time then if you want to keep practicing it practice it and uh, replace the old one with the new one but absolutely use video